So what is going on guys yet again this is Takami Guy with another video for you guys. I know you guys already heard it. I know you guys been wondering what has been going on. James Gunn is back. Back, back, back. That was my special effects. James Gunn is back to Disney to finish his trilogy Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I don't know if they, he's going to be there for a while and then keep on going because I know that he wanted to do the Silver Surfer movie. And now that they have custody of the Silver Surfer movie coming on on March 20th, it's official that Disney Fox is going to be one. And they're going to have all the characters from Marvel in under one umbrella. And I know he wanted to do a Silver Surfer movie, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. But... He is back to direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, a lot of directors that were offered um, the movie, they said that they didn't even feel right, um, you know, taking over the script from James Gunn. He wrote the script and, you know, kind of they didn't feel right of helming his legacy because that's pretty much what he's done for Marvel, bringing Guardians of the Galaxy to life and bringing two great movies and going for the third one so you know like Taika Waititi um, and I believe somebody else I don't remember who was the other person that they um, they wanted to bring in and he, and he did they did not feel right but Disney went ahead and rehired James Gunn back to finish Guardians of the Galaxy 3 just remember you guys are not gonna receive any Guardians of the Galaxy 3 probably in two to three years because James Gunn is also doing Suicide Squad he was hired by the WB to reboot the Suicide Squad um, it has been confirmed that it's not a sequel it's actually gonna be a reboot Will Smith is gonna be replaced by Idris Elba I believe uh, it, it's been in talk as Deadshot Harley is coming back and he's bringing new characters uh also i think they are bringing in killer frost that's one of the news that i that i've seen um polka dot man king shark uh rat catcher and peacekeeper a peacemaker uh peacekeeper a peacemaker and those are the, uh you know those are characters that james gunn is 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 most likely to bring because his mind is just crazy but it looks like he's uh, gonna finish he's not gonna rush Suicide Squad 2 as much as us Marvel fans want him to be like hey forget about Suicide Squad 2 come over to Guardians of the Galaxy 3 we also want to see what he's gonna do I actually is very very interested in to see what this Man is going to do with Suicide Squad 2 or Suicide Squad or Task Force X whatever he wants to call it we want to see it because we want to see what the brain of this man has intact for DC and then he is going to be playing both sides of the game I would would have loved him to do the Flash movie because his mind is is also great for the Flash movie, but he he, but he's also is a team based movie. Um, you know he likes to work with like a team based uh characters, but um, you know let's see let's see I I'm 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 interested to see what he's gonna bring to Suicide Squad um to see how he's gonna hit DC with like a, a million a billion dollar uh, movie because he could do it you know he could do it but talking about the flash boom 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 WB may recast flash Ezra Miller because his contract is actually over in May it looks like the movie was gonna start in November and it looks like that might not happen. But Ezra Miller is writing his own script in an attempt to keep the role. 
The thing is, Ezra Miller has a Fantastic Beast under his belt. And that is going to, it's been delayed and it's going to start filming in late uh, of this year. The Flash movie was supposed to start in November. Yet, he still wants to do the Flash. It looks like, so this is this is what, this is on screen rant. And it says here, uh, Ezra Miller may be recast at the start of the Flash unless a darker script he's He's writing can change Warner Brothers. What? Ezra Miller may recast as the star of The Flash unless the, the darker script he's writing can change Warner Brothers? And DC Films mind. Why would he want to do a darker movie for The Flash? But let's see. Miller joined the DC Folds a few years back as part of Zack Snyder's vision for a larger DC Universe when he first cameoed in Batman vs. Superman. Done of justice. As his role in the world grew, though plans for a solo movie had trouble settling into place. The project went through several different directors before Game Knights John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein were hired last year. Despite the promise for their addition, The Flash has not found it any easier to get off the ground. So multiple delays have frustrated those eager to see Miller's take on Barry Allen's given, given star treatment instead of supporting role like he had in Justice League. Boom. That is so correct. He was not the star. And he pretty much really did. Really, I, I love every part of the Flash movie in the Justice League. I think where my, one, of one, one of my favorite parts was when the Flash. Because he was so innocent. So funny, a smart ass, kind of just like The Flash. Now we may know why the film has taken so long to get off the ground, as Miller may be recast in the role. The news comes from THR who report that Miller's days as Barry Allen may be numbered. The star reportedly does not see eye to eye with the take that Daly and Goldstein have, which had resulted in him teaming up with comic book writer Grant Morrison to write a new script for the Scarlet Speedster solo film. Warner Brothers agreed to let Miller write his own draft of the script that could be done next week. If they don't take to Miller's script, they will likely recast the role, unless he then agrees to stay on for daily and ghosting the approach. Eesh. The last ditch efforts by Miller to see his darker vision for Flash make it to the big screen will likely force WB to choose if they'd rather have Miller or Daly and Goldstein attached. They are now st staring at the possibility of having to recast a third member of their original Justice League light lineup. After Ben Affleck left as Batman and Henry Cavill days of Superman are reportedly over too. Whit Miller's contract hold on the Flash expiring in May, it has put a countdown clock on resolving this matter. They just recast Will Smith Deadshot so that Idris Alba can take over the role, so Miller will need to deliver a can't miss script if he's going to stay on. Miller did say that he wants to do a more f movie for the fans, so. By next week, we'll find out if he's have been recast or is he are they gonna stay with his script? Um, I think he did real good as as a Flash, so I can't wait to see what the Flash or that I've been wondering what is going on. I've been wanting to see this movie for ever since I heard that they want to do a Flash movie. I was excited about it because Flash is one of my favorites. And now with um you know it's been going through like directors and rewriting and scripts and this and that is everything is crazy wow boom boom bling. Let's see what happens. Um, it's just crazy, man. If he leaves, are they gonna recast who is gonna be recast as you know Barry Allen? We don't know. That's gonna be interesting to see. Um. You know, is 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 Daily and Goldstein a little bit more lighter, more fun kind of Flash, or, or what does you know? 
And maybe if they do that, maybe they're going to change the costume if they recast. Maybe they're going to go a different way, a different route. Maybe they recast everything, um, you know, to see what's going on with that. That will be pretty much interesting to see. Um, what do you guys think about the news? What do you guys think about if uh, James is going to come back into the Guardians of the Galaxy? And what do you guys think about Ezra Miller's Flash? Would you guys like to see a recast of the Flash and and a whole new version of of the Flash hitting the DC universe, or would you like Ezra Miller to stay as the Flash and see where uh, the darker storyline he wants to go go with? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the notification. As always, this is the Comic Guy. I'll see you guys later. Peace.